There we go. <laughs> Thumbs up? Nope. Hey everybody, welcome back to Dan Plays Metal Gear Solid The Twin Snakes. I'm Dan, this is Metal Gear Solid The Twin Snakes. And it feels like every time I play this game, it's like, well, I haven't played this in four months because I haven't played this in a while. <laughs> I haven't played this since I moved down here and I've played the last set. So to stop the launch of a new type of nuclear warhead, Snake must... Uh, sorry, I was checking to make sure everything was, was uh, loading or recording. Must either use the detonation code emergency override key at the underground maintenance base or destroy Metal Gear itself. While Snake has down the large cargo layer from the blast furnace to get to the lower level of the underground maintenance base, he... Here's from Master Miller that Naomi could be a spy. Snake cannot believe it, but all you can do now is try to stop the launch. So now I'm in the new play setup. Before I was just sort of sitting on the floor, now I'm at my desk and everything. Uh, here we are. A bunch of ravens everywhere. Remind myself how to play. Alright, that's how you duck. That's how you do that. That's how I don't shoot. All right, cool. We're about to have a boss fight. And unfortunately, you can see, by the way, that the things that they're giving me to fight are like C4 and Nikita's. That's the typical way that you do this fight. So I'm very worried about this fight. But here we go, Vulcan Raven. Yee. Ka 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 ka. What's that? There he is. Welcome, Cossack. Whoa. That would be the Vulcan of the Vulcan Raven. This is the end of the road for you. Right, my friends? Yes. Ka. Excited. Ravens aren't scavengers like most. They're very intelligent. They're simply returning to the natural world, that which is no longer needed. Which sounds a lot like scavenging. Even attack wounded foxes. You were the one in the M1 tank. Must have been a tight fit for a big boy like you. <laughs> Sick burn, snake. <laughs> but that was no true battle. <laughs> The Ravens and I were testing to see what kind of man you were. The judgment is decided. The Ravens say you are a true warrior. Awesome. What? Did he just launched a Raven off of his head. Can't move. The Raven has put the mark of death upon you. Blood from the east flows within your veins. Ah, your ancestors too were raised on the barren plains of Mongolia. Inuit and Japanese are cousins to each other. We share many ancestors, you and I. There's no crows in my family tree. <laughs> Another sick burn. I am not fond of snakes, but you are family, so I cannot complain. But there will be no, no hold back. back. All right, here we go. You live 
live in Alaska too. You oh, know of I the really thought Eskimo Indian Olympics. I thought we were about to start. Strength. You must have been training in the stick pull and four man carry. Yes, you are right. But there is another event that I excel at. It is called the ear pull. It's an event where two opponents pull each other's ears. <sighs> what? During the harsh cold, it tests spiritual as well as physical strength. You want to pull each other's ears? <laughs> the form is different, but the spirit is the same. Rejoice, Snake! Ours will be a glorious battle. This isn't glorious. It's just plain killing. Violence isn't a sport. Well, yeah, dude. We will see if there is iron in your words. You just throw a shipping container at me. And I just blew it up with a rocket launcher. Yep. We're in full on super anime mode. Can you shoot each one of those bullets with a rocket launcher snake? A long longer missile than I think the rocket launcher itself I wonder if I'm gonna get to actually fight him yet god the choreography so dumb in this game Here we go. Whoops. Okay, so. Did I hit him a little bit? Is that what that is? All right, so the typical way that you fight this guy. Is to hit him with like the Nikita. Whoops, he got me on that one. I got him on that one, though. Oh, jeez. I guess he can hear me. All right, I got to move. Good thing I got body armor and also that this is easy mode. Because that barely did, did any damage to me. Ouch. Okay, so as he starts it... So normally what you would do against him... Would be to uh, um, what's it called? Uh, hit him with like Nikita missiles because he can't see you from far away. So right now I think he's just like running up and down. Okay, I gotta be careful too because. Oops, there he is. Because my health is low. Or I could actually just manually do a little bit of that. And hold up, hold back onto the body armor again. Whoops. Well, I keep getting him that way, though, so. Got him with that one, I'm sure. Yeah, that was a good one. Got him with that. I don't think that one went far enough to hit him. Oh, it did. All right, so, like I said, normally you'd be, like, hitting him with, like, uh, Nikitas and stuff. And uh, from the back, and he starts, like, chasing you, and it's just, like... 
Oh no, I gotta look out. But this is easy mode, and you can stun him. And that's all I'm doing is stunning, so I've won. And it looks like I blew him up, but really I just shone some bright lights in his face. Just as the boss said. It is my existence which is no longer needed in this world. But my body will not remain in this place. My spirit and my flesh will become one with the ravens. Excellent. Mine has two because I'm the Mintons love the Baltimore Ravens. To Mother Earth who bore me. Snake! I will be watching you. Understand? As a raven. Snake, take this security card. It will open that door. Did you see that little trick where the camera cut to behind Snake? Because you can't pull stuff out of pockets like that. You can't really do clothing modeling, so... You are a snake, which was not created by nature. You and the boss, you are of another world. A world that I do not wish to know. Go and do battle with him. I will be watching from above. First, I'll give you a hint. The man you saw die before your eyes was decoy octopus that was not the darba chief oops i think i just spoiled that for you guys it was decoy octopus a member of foxhound he was a master of disguise he copied his subjects down to the... What a weird face. So he drained the chief's blood and took it into himself. That's, uh... Seems unhealthy. But he wasn't able to deceive the Angel of Death. The Angel of Death? I forgot that you got to see Decoy Octopus's face. But why go to so much trouble? Why impersonate the chief? Those are good points, Snake. <laughs> that is the end of my hint. You must solve the rest of the riddle yourself. Big ol' ammo barrel. That is gross sounding. Snake. In the natural world, there is no such thing as boundless slaughter. There is always an end to it. Oops. I skipped it by mistake. Snake, it's me. That was definitely a mistake. It's about Naomi. Turn your monitor off. What about Naomi? Damn. Colonel, is Naomi there? No, she's away. She's taking a short nap. The guy got eaten by ravens. I think that's what happens. This about Naomi. Okay, maybe we'd better let the colonel hear this too. Yeah, go on, master. Well, basically, Dr. Naomi Hunter is not Dr. Naomi Hunter at all. What? What? Her story of her background sounded kind of fishy, so I checked it out. And? There is an actual Dr. Naomi Hunter, or I should say there was one. But she's not the woman we know. The real what? Naomi Hunter disappeared somewhere in the Middle East. Our Naomi must have somehow obtained her identification papers. So then who is she really? 
She must be some kind of spy. A spy? Yes. Maybe she's been sent to sabotage this operation. Are you saying she's with the terrorists? She could I be. I don't believe it either, but she is working for Foxhound. So, you think she had a part in the uprising? Or she could be working with some different group altogether. A different group? It couldn't be. Place her under arrest, Colonel. What? She's betrayed us, Colonel. She needs to be arrested and interrogated to find out who she's with. If she's one of their spies, then we're in big trouble. What do you mean? Oh, nothing. Colonel, have you let her in on some kind of vital secret or something? Does this have anything to do with the mysterious deaths of the DARPA chief and the arms tech president? I... I have no idea. Hmm. Anyway, we cannot allow her to participate any further in this mission. Wait. Wait a minute. Without her, we can't complete this mission. I knew it. You're hiding something. Give me some time. I'll try to get it out of her. Hurry then. We've got to figure out who she is and what she's doing here. I understand. Snake, give me some time. I don't have any time left for you. Oh, Snake's feeling betrayed. Oh yeah, so what happened was the the ravens consumed his entire body and then they were just like um he's like, I will be watching you, my spirit will be watching you. That's about it. Um yeah, there's his thing. Oh, have I been supposed to get their dog tags this whole time? I bet I was. For stunning them. Oh well. Maybe I've gotten a few, but if not, I'll survive. Okay. Um, so let's talk about the hint that Vulcan Raven was trying to give us. So he was saying that you should know that Decoy Octopus was not the guy from the get-go. So what does that mean for us? Oh, shoot. Okay. Now, of course, I know exactly what it means. But I think that the key to understanding what's going on here, and I'll help you out, give you a, a fighting chance, is to know, or it's to question what it is that you talked about with Decoy Octopus. What did, what was he trying to ask you? And what did he want to know? And when you think about those things, you'll understand a little bit about what, uh, what Raven was trying to say. I'm just trying to like get this guy when he finally turns this way, but he hasn't, he hasn't done it yet. So instead, I think I'm just gonna activate him by Come on, straighten up. Or do I need some pinsatamine? Right, that's one. Because these are the machine gun ones. These are annoying. Come on. How did I miss that? All right, well. Oh, jeez. Oh, gosh. They're punching the hell out of me. Come on. Uh oh. I hope I didn't just kill that guy. Alright. Oh, what do I have over here? Come on. Okay. So that didn't go how I was hoping it would. Oh yeah, I do have a dog tag. I think that's the only one I've gotten. Ooh. 
I think that's for if you hold up. Like in Metal Gear Solid 2, you could hold up people and uh, get their dog tags. Let's see what's up this way. Man, if that counts as a kill, I'm going to be so mad. It probably does, too, which sucks because that guy just fell on his own. Wait, there's one other thing that I wanted, or that I saw over here. Oh, stinger bullets. Must be because we're about to need stinger bullets. Son of a bitch. I really hope that doesn't count as a kill. All right. Oh, I, th I didn't think it was going to be a cutscene. There's Metal Gear, though. So anyway, if you want to know what, what his hint was, think about what Decoy Octopus was asking you to do. Uh, and, and what kind of information he was trying to get out of Snake. And then pay attention, because you'll see the, uh, the outcome of that shortly. Oh, that's poisonous. How do I climb out? There we go. Oops. All right. And there's like people above me, which is confusing because I keep seeing them. They're like little windows. There's another way into here. And there's a camera on that one. That's weird. It's weird not to be able to uh, just go into first person mode for everything too. Like I'm used to with, uh, with other games. I think this is silenced. It is not. He's got to be above me, because I don't see him. Snake, it's me. What's up? What's wrong? Did you find a good place to hide? Yeah, thanks to the stealth gear. It looks like. Why couldn't you give me one of those? ready. How do you know that? I overheard them talking. Where are you now? Right in front of Metal Gear. Where are you now? That's strange. What is? There's nobody here. No guards. No. Maybe because they're all ready. They said they even input the PAL codes. What should I do? All we can do is use the override system that President Baker told you about. But I've only got one of the three keys. And besides that, like Ocelot said, there's some trick to using the keys. Leave it to me. You got some kind of plan? Well, I'm in the computer room right now. I'm trying to access Baker's private files. Baker's files? Don't you need a password? Of course. But there are sneaky, ways. sneaky. Are you a hacker? Yep, that describes me pretty well. Does it look like you can get in? I don't know yet. I'll give it a try. I'm counting on you. All right, let me see what's going on over here. And honestly, the fact that that thing was guarding over there makes me want to check to see what's down there although I bet it's nothing I'll tell you what the smartest thing to do would be to just go into first person mode oh there's a ration are they really full not anymore I don't know that there's anything else going on over there let's go up I'm really annoyed about that death that's probably going to count against me. All right. Hmm? Oh, 
Oh, there it is. Let me just hurry up and try and get him. I was like, man, if this guy gets me, I'm going to be so mad. Ugh, what I really need are stumbles. These guys are just calling me every five seconds. Me again. How's it going? Um, not bad. I just got past his third security level. He was a pretty careful guy. Do you think you'll break in? Drop the control controller. Okay, uh, pick that back up. All right, I think I know where we're headed and what's next. I don't know if there's a guard in there, in there or not. Boy, sure are getting a lot of electronic disrupting items and stuff for fighting a robot oh is it Otacon again Snake, I did it you got great thanks security. bingo great so what do you got I accessed the confidential metal gear file metal so gear what about the pal override system that Baker talked about haven't found it yet that's what I need to know <laughs> but snake I found something else what the secret behind the new nuclear weapon. Just as I thought, the nuclear warhead is designed to be fired from the railgun like a projectile. It doesn't use fuel, so it isn't considered a missile. That way it can get around all sorts of international treaties. Pretty sneaky. Yes. Pretty sneaky, sis. And that's not even the scariest thing about this weapon. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. Yeah, seriously. It's a stealth weapon. Shh. It won't show up on radar. Yeah. The truth is, they've been working on a stealth missile since the late 70s. Interesting. Why weren't they able to develop one up until now? Because of the missile's rocket propulsion system. It would be picked up by enemy satellites. Because of that? But unlike a missile, the railgun doesn't burn any propellant, so it can't be detected by any current ballistic missile detection systems. An Dope. invisible nuclear warhead. Totally impossible to intercept. Scary. And on top of that, it's got a surface piercing warhead designed to penetrate hardened. A bunker buster. Weapons. We learned that lesson in the Gulf War. This thing could mean the end of the world. It's the ultimate weapon. And from a political point of view, it avoids the problem of nuclear reduction and nuclear inspections. Colonel, is this true? Are you listening? I'm listening. It would push back the signing of the START 3 treaty. If word gets out about this weapon, it would cause a whole world of trouble. That's why we're here. Yeah, it would be nasty. The United States would be denounced by the UN. It could even bring the president down. Did you know this, Colonel? I'm sorry. You've changed, Colonel. Yeah, seriously, Colonel. Excuses. Snake, listen to me. This new nuclear weapon, it's never actually been tested, only simulated. You mean with VR experiments? Yeah, that's why they were conducting this exercise. They needed to get actual experimental data to back up the simulation. What were the results of the exercise? It looks like it went better than they hoped for, but I can't find the data. Somebody was asking about the test network. data a bunch. You'd think the data as important as that would be carefully recorded. It was. President Baker gave me an optical disk ah, yes. with all of the test data. What? Do you still have it? No. Ocelot took it from me. Damn. The terrorists have replaced the dummy warhead with a real warhead. Once they input the detonation codes, they should be ready to launch. So, you think they can do it? Well, the dummy warhead was designed to be identical to the real thing, so I think so. Did you find out how to override it yet? Not yet. It must be in a separate file. Right now I'm looking through all of Baker's personal files. All I need is the override. All right. Is that a stairwell? It is. And nothing doing there. 
can't see that guy from this level. But I can't see him from here. I don't know if I got him. Man, this bullet drop. There we go. Way too many bullets to get him. All right, let's go back up there. Maybe loot his body. Move on to the next little cutscene. Probably gonna get a call from Otacon in like three seconds anyway. There it is. Snake, did you find it? Oh, I should have saved. No, I haven't found out about the override system yet, but I found Baker's ulterior motive. I'm gonna save after this. Rich, isn't he? That's part of it. Armstech is in much worse financial trouble than I thought. Oh, I know they lost their bid to make the next generation fighter jet. That plus the reduction in SDI spending. It looks like there was even some talk of a hostile takeover. Hmm. Everything was riding on this project, I guess. And it looks like they were paying a lot of bribe money to the DARPA chief. Bribe money, huh? Yeah. And Baker was a big proponent of the nuclear deterrent theory. I see. So anyway, what about the override? Just give me a little bit longer. We don't have time. I think I'd do a pretty good David Hater as Snake. What's up, Snake? Talk Just... to you later, Snake. Nope, that's not what I meant to do, Millie. And you know it. We called Snake? I need my proverbs. In China, they say, the snake, knowing itself, strikes swiftly. It means that if you have confidence that what you're doing is part of your true nature, there should be no hesitation. Interesting. You know whether your orders are in your true nature or not, but snake, believe in yourself. I believe. There's somebody in there. Or maybe it's just cameras. Found us bullets. All right, here we go. 